Hey everybody, I have a quick video here for you today, and I am trying to find the time, the proper time, to put together a video here for you on the weekend that I have talked about. But today, I just wanted to make this video really quick. I like talking about new things. And a site here in Ethiopia really intrigued me, and I have made a few videos about sites in Ethiopia, Aksum, and uh, the churches of Lalibela. But here we are flying in, and this is an archaeological site called the Tia Stellas. And they are right down here. And this is what they look like. And I'm just not sure if the proper story or the proper research has been done on these stones. And there's a few things I just want to bring up. Now this is ancientorigins.com, and I found a few articles on these, and they are all pretty much the same. And I'm just going to read briefly. It says the Tia stones are part of an archaeological site located in central Ethiopia in an area known as the Guraj zone. And I'm not sure how this is pronounced, and pronunciation is not my strong point. The 46 large decorated Tia megalith have been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Although the construction of such megaliths is an ancient tradition in Ethiopia, the Tia stones are fairly recent dating to somewhere between the 10th and 15th centuries. Remarkably little is known about the Tia Stella, and maybe that's why they're dated so recently, beyond descriptions of their physical appearance. These large monuments likely have some cultural significance when erected, but their meanings remain unclear and very few efforts have been made towards understanding these magnificent monoliths. And here is a look at some of the carvings. And one theory is that these were erected by maybe a group of warriors for fallen soldiers. But would a moving army erect such, you know, mammoth gravestones, if you will, for fallen soldiers in one specific site? That would take a lot of time. And there is one video out there from a local... A teacher or, or somebody trying to explain these and she very clearly says um, in the native language and the title of the video is these are cosmological stones with uh, cosmological significance so I don't think the story on these has been properly done and here is another website and I will leave all these links below it says T is among the most important of the roughly 160 archaeological sites discovered so far in the Sodo region south of Addis Ababa. The site contains 36 monuments including 32 car stella covered with symbols most of which are difficult to decipher. They are the remains of an ancient Ethiopian culture whose age has not yet been precisely determined. And here is another one of those carvings. And I just want to show you this one. Now, this is the one that really caught my eye. And this was sent to me by uh, somebody on Google+. Plus. Dave, I really appreciate this. And when you sent this to me, I thought, oh, I'm looking at a stone from Gobekli Tepe. And on this video here, I showed you how the hands are depicted at Gobekli Tepe and on Easter Island. And this just looks exactly like the hand depiction at Gobekli Tepe. And also what are called sometimes handbags. This is precisely what is located on the stones at Gobekli Tepe. For, I mean, we don't know really what these are and what these ancient people were trying to tell us. Now, when I first looked at these, it just struck me as these are very old and Look at this bottom diamond pattern here. And you look at some of these stones at Gobekli Tepe, and they kind of have the same thing, and especially these mysterious symbols here are found on the Tia stellas. And these hands, this all looks like Gobekli Tepe symbolism to me. Is the same thing going on? down here in Ethiopia. Proper research obviously hasn't been done, and their web websites say, you know, we really don't have a clue. And the local tradition says these are cosmological markers. 
Now, I'm trying to put together a video for the weekend, and I really don't have time to research this in depth, but I find this fascinating. I think we might have a story here that has been misstated by many thousands of years. I could be wrong, but that's just my gut instinct, and I know to trust it. Hope you thought that was interesting, and you all have a very nice weekend.